So here we have 476 minus 30. We can subtract 30 to get our answer of 446. And we don't really even need a number line for this question because we start with seven tens. So if we take away three tens, that leaves us with four tens in our answer. So what is 493 minus 70? Taking away 70, or 7 tens, gives us 423. Because we started with 9 tens, subtracted 7 tens, and because 9 take away 7 is 2, that gives us 2 tens in our answer. But now it gets more difficult. We have 436, so we have 3 tens, and we're subtracting 50, so that's 5 tens. If we only have 3 tens, we can't take away 5, so we know that our hundreds digits will need to change as well for this question. So we can solve this by bridging our tens. So if we subtract 30, if we take away 3 of our tens, we get to 406. And if we know that 43 minus 3 is 40, we know that 436 minus 30 is 406. So because we're subtracting tens, the unit's digit stays the same. But we've subtracted 30 here, and we want to subtract 50. So let's subtract 20 more. That takes us to 386. So if we know that 40 minus 2 is 38, we know that 406 minus 20 is 386. So because we're subtracting tens, the unit's digit stays the same. So we have subtracted 50 because we subtracted 30, then subtracted 20, and that helped us find our answer, 386. So we started with 400s and 3 tens, which we can think of as being 43 tens. We subtracted 5 tens, and then in our answer, we ended up with 308 tens, which we can think of as being 38 tens. So if you know that 43 minus 5 is 38, you know that 436 minus 50 is 386. Because we're only subtracting tens, the units digit stays the same. So pause the video and see if you can work out 661 minus 70. Well, if we subtract 60, that takes us to 601, because we know that 66 minus 6 is 60. So now we've subtracted 60, so we need to subtract another 10, and that takes us to 591 because we know that 60 minus 1 is 59. So we subtracted 60, then subtracted 10, which means that we subtracted 70 altogether, and that gave us our answer, 591. So we started with 606 tens, which we can think of as being 66 tens, we subtracted seven tens, and then in our answer, we got five hundreds and nine tens, which we can think of as being fifty-nine tens. So if you know that sixty-six minus seven is fifty-nine, you know that six hundred and sixty-one minus seventy is five hundred and ninety-one, because we're only subtracting tens, the one in our units stays the same. 